In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called odd and even identities for trigonometric functions. We have a few questions here, A, B, and C, that get at this idea of trig functions being either even or odd. And we'll start by recalling that for even functions, when we substitute a negative value into that function, the outcome is exactly the same as substituting a positive value into that function. And then for odd functions, when we substitute a negative value in, we get the opposite of substituting a positive value in. And I have the unit circle here, and I'll go ahead and put the values here for our special angles, because from here I think we can determine even or odd for both cosine and sine, and then be able to answer any of these questions. Moving around the unit circle in this direction, will be positive, and then in this direction, that will be negative. So let's start by looking at cosine. Cosine is each of these x values. So my question would be, if we move in the negative direction instead of the positive here in quadrant one, what would be the effect on the x values? So for example, here, this x value moving in the negative direction, the x value would be exactly the same as moving in the positive direction. So cosine is even. Moving in the negative direction gives us the exact same x values around the unit circle. And then looking at the sine function, I'm now looking at the y values in this first quadrant. If I move down instead of up, my y value will be similar here to the value here, but now I'm going below the axis, I can see that at this point, I would be at a negative one half. I was above the axis here at positive one half. Now I'm below, so a negative one half. So for sine functions, we have odd symmetry. And from here, knowing cosine and sine, we can start to answer the questions. The first question is actually about cosine, and we've said cosine is even. The second question is about cotangent, and we recall that cotangent is cosine over sine. So if we were to substitute in, say, a negative x, we know that the cosine, when we substitute in a negative x, it would be the same. It would still give us cosine. Cosine has even symmetry, but in the denominator, that has odd symmetry, so this would be the negative of sine. So we can see that cotangent has negative symmetry. Substituting in a negative gives us the opposite of substituting in a positive. Cotangent has odd symmetry. And then for B and C, we're actually putting this to use. Our drop downs here have a couple of options. For the first one, substituting that negative 25 degrees into cosine, would give us the same value as substituting a positive 25 degrees, again, because cosine has even symmetry. And since we've already said that cotangent has odd symmetry, substituting a negative in there, I know will give me the opposite of the cotangent when I substitute in that same positive value. And I think looking at the unit circle to either determine or just remember cosine and sine will help us determine all of the other trigonometric functions.